this is kind of a, a mock-up of what the process is. We have the sample coming in, we apply it to a, a lysis solution, and then we load that on a column, and the matrix in the bottom of the column will bind any RNA that might be present. This would be viral RNA if it's present in the patient sample. And then we will do several washing steps, and on those washing steps, uh, that's clearing away all of the other material that might be in that sample. And then after we've done the washing steps, there's an elution step where we add a different type of media that will release the viral RNA from the column matrix. And then that's put back in the centrifuge and spun out and collected in a tube. And then that tube is decontaminated before it comes out of the biosafety cabinet, placed on ice, and it's sent up to the fifth floor for the PCR analysis. And I think the important thing to stress here is this biosafety cabinet is the heavy lifter in terms of providing safety in the lab. Going down the line, there's three on this side and there's three on the opposite side of the laboratory. More close up of the centrifuge used for spinning down the samples and separating the RNA that may be in the patient sample, the viral RNA that may be in the patient sample uh, from all the rest of the gunk that comes in that sample tube. This is the lab where once we extract the RNA downstairs in 420, it gets brought up here to our lab. And this is where we will take that RNA and perform a process known as PCR, which measures or tries to quantify how much of a specific type of RNA is in these samples. And so what I'm showing here is our uh, QPCR instrument, which will quantify specific types of RNA. And, and the goal with this is that we can have uh, we have the ability to measure uh, bits of RNA that are in very low concentrations by making many, many copies of them. And so once a sample comes up, what we do is we then will load it into one of these small plates here, which has 96 different wells on it, which will allow us to uh, test a number of different types of samples in a single plate. Um, and so this is where on one of these plates we can measure, uh, I think, up to 20 samples. And then it gets loaded into this machine, which will then cycle through a variety of temperatures and amplify specific regions. And in this case, we're measuring for uh, both the, the virus as well as to ensure that we have enough of uh, human uh, RNA in there to say that we collected a sufficient sample. And the output from this will allow us to kind of, we see these signals where as these lines increase, and you can see that there's a few of them that are increasing on here, this is the signal that we're able to detect the target interested in.